Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game Shed with me Mark and welcome back to another PS Classic video. I have done tons of these in the past week and a half and you guys seem to be absolutely loving it so why not continue and try and do a bit more of that. Now I'm a little bit late to the party with this one but the guys over at Mod My Classic have got together with Team Classic and Lib Retro to bring out a Christmas treat. Now I know we're now sort of six, seven days away from Christmas, um, but I figured I'd cover this anyway. The Christmas treat is to run Retro Arch on your PS Classic. Now, Retro Arch is a suite of emulators which will allow you to play games from many, many different consoles. Um, and it is awesome. So the ability to be able to do that on the PS Classic is obviously brilliant. Because then you can play not only PlayStation games, but you can play all other games as well. Super Nintendo is a prime example. As I'm late to the party, there is updates coming out very, very soon. Uh, 0.7 of BleemSync is, is due out. And there's a whole ton of updates in that. So separately from this, I'm going to do an update video um, about 0.7, 0.7, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and talk about what features they're going to integrate. There is also coming up a version 1.0 uh, at some point, but the guy working on it's been pretty ill, so the update has been delayed a little bit. So let's crack on with today's mini tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to get this Christmas special um, beta version of RetroArch into your PS Classic so you can play maybe a, a SNES game if you want to. So here you go, this is the website PlayStation Classic Boot Menu plus RetroArch Christmas 2018 Public Beta. There are two download links here as you can see you've got the PSC Boot Menu plus Retro Christmas Beta uh, download here and then you've got the RetroArch Cores. Uh, they separate these out, I, I don't know why but obviously it's because you can you want to be able to choose which cores you want. The cores are the emulators that equals the consoles themselves so I've downloaded both of these you will just need to download these um, and unzip them in order to get all the cores under the RetroArch cores part just click on all cores.zip and it will download all of them in a zip file once you have unzipped them both you will end up with this folder that's got the boot menu lol hack RetroArch etc and then you will end up with the all cores menu now, dependent on what games you want to play, you may want to be picky with the cores that you load because it gets a bit confusing a bit later down the line when you run it in RetroArch because you have to pick from a whole huge list of cores. So for me today, I just want to be able to play a SNES game just to show you how it works. So all you have to do to put the cores in the right place is go onto the uh, boot menu folder, go to RetroArch, config, RetroArch, and then somewhere we should see cores. There we go. Cores. Grab the core that you want to use. So I'm going to load, uh, uh, let's see, the 2010 SNES 9X. And I'm going to copy that core into there. So once you've copied the SNES core into there, you need to go back and you need to load in a game. Now, just a quick note, you can copy all of these cores into this folder if you'd like. It's completely up to you. Um, but for my benefit and this video's benefit, uh, I'm just gonna go with the SNES one. Right, so let's close down the cores. We're gonna go back to the RetroArch folder. And what we need to do is create a new folder in here called Games. Completely up to you what you name this, you could call it ROMs or whatever. Um, I'm just going to call it games. And I'm going to create another folder da, 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 called SNES. And looky here, I do have a Donkey Kong Country ROM right here, which I'm going to copy into that folder. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to head back to the root of that folder. So that's your boot menu folder. You also, at the same time, want to open up your USB stick that you've been doing everything on for BleemSync. So if you followed the same instructions previously of how to load BleemSync and everything else, your USB should look a bit like this. Um, all we need to do at this stage is highlight everything in this folder, copy it, and paste it into our USB drive. So once it's finished copying, you'll notice that it prompts you to overwrite some files. This is absolutely fine, and all you want to do is just replace the files in the destination. As so. There we go. 
and you will be left with a new folder in there called boot menu, a new folder in there called RetroArch, and all the other little files have been overwritten, those four files, to allow you to do this. That is it. That's literally it. All you now do is take the USB stick out of your computer, plug it into your PlayStation Classic as normal, and boot it up. So let's do that right now. So here we go, I booted up the PlayStation Classic and look what we've got. We have a choice of RetroArch or BleemSync. Now as I said, the updates coming will combine these and make it available within BleemSync, we, it looks like. Um, but for now, you can have a choice. So if I click on BleemSync, obviously it will take me to my normal PlayStation Classic menu with my uh, carousel of games. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to look at RetroArch. So let's click on that and we're going to see what it looks like. Here we go, look at this. If you've used RetroArch before, you will be very, very comfortable with the layout of this. Um, for those that haven't, it's a little bit confusing, but I will try and make it as simple as possible. The first thing you want to do is load the core. Now that is the emulator. And remember we put SNES 9X? Yes, we did. So let's load that up. So we've loaded the core. Now we want to go to load content. Now we should be able to find our SNES folder within games. So what it's done is it's taken us to the main root menu. So what we want to do is we want to go to media and look what we've got here. We have got Bleem Sync, boot menu, games, blah, blah, blah. So we want to go to RetroArch and then games. Now I get that this is a little bit convoluted, guys. It is going to get improved. If you want to play like this now, it is possible. So there we go. Click on SNES and then we run Donkey Kong Country with SNES 9X 2010. Let's see how it runs with a PlayStation controller. Look at this, Donkey Kong Country. 60 frames per second, baby. Wow, doesn't get much better than this, does it? Let's just make sure that it works. I'm gonna click on this and I wanna see it running. Look at this. Oh, one of my favorite Super Nintendo games this is. Here we go. Right, I'm just gonna give you just a minute of it just so you can see it runs perfectly. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, George. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Love it. Well, look, that is fantastic news, guys. Feel free to mess about with this and get some uh, get some other Super Nintendo games on the go. Get some other console games on the go. NES, Mega Drives, Master System, whatever you want. If you are in any way confused, just drop us a comment. I will answer, as I have been with all the other comments you guys have been throwing at me over the past five or six videos. Um, it's been brilliant, guys. I really appreciate all your feedback. And for those of you sharing on Twitter and wherever else, uh, social media sites, I'm so, so, so grateful. It's massively helpful and it helps get the numbers up. It helps to get the videos out there to all the people that need this information. So there you go guys, fantastic news. You can load RetroArch onto your PS Classic and you can play Super Nintendo games, Mega Drive games, etc, etc. Um, thank you again for watching, much, much appreciated. I will drop all the links, I literally have dropped every single link possible um, in the description of every video I've made so far. I'm making them all the same so that you've got all the links to everything in all the descriptions. Um, feel free to follow us, follow us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, blah blah blah. We have a Discord server as well so I've put a Discord link in the description below as well. Follow us on all those things, chat to us, chat to our community, we would love to see you as part of it. So thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time.